So finally, at number one, it's a really important subject about how oceans are turning acidic. It's acids and alkalis. We live on a blue planet. 70% of the Earth's surface is made up of oceans. And there's a problem. The oceans are changing. We know they're changing because their pH is changing. So what does this really mean? The pH of a solution is a measure of how acidic or alkaline it is. We can use a universal indicator to work out the pH levels of different solutions. If the solution goes green, then it's neutral. If the solution goes red, then it's very acidic. And if the solution goes purple, then it's very alkaline. In fact, if you go through the pH scale, you can get all of the colours of the rainbow. Different parts of the body need different pH levels to operate efficiently. The blood has a pH that is very slightly alkaline, while the stomach needs an acidic pH. It's the same for aquatic life. Oceans provide a pH between 7.8 and 8.4 that aquatic life thrives in. But scientists are worried that the pH of our oceans is now becoming more acidic. Most scientists believe that this acidification is due to the CO2 that we're producing being absorbed by the oceans. Professor Seller has prepared a simple demo to show what is happening to our oceans. The water in this jar has some universal indicator in it, and we can use that to represent the ocean. We're going to put in a bit of alkali. First of all, Andrea adds some alkali so the solution now matches the pH of the ocean, around 8.1. Nice and purple, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to add the carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide, it's actually dry ice. It's going to bubble and bubble and bubble. And watch what happens to the pH. Boiling away. Great effect. This is happening in our lifetime. And you can see it's already gone from purple. To me, it's beginning to look bluish green, right? So we're gradually coming towards neutral. And if we wait a moment longer, it's gradually going paler and paler. We're really past the neutral point, we're actually into the acidic region. So as the carbon dioxide bubbles through the water, it's turning the water more acidic. Absolutely. What it's doing is it's making something called carbonic acid. And this is happening with our atmosphere much more slowly as the CO2 dissolves in the oceans, becoming more acidic. And there are really big questions about what happens to living things in the ocean. The oceans certainly should be just slightly alkaline just away from, from neutral. And what's happening is that they're slowly moving down towards more acidic conditions. That's why the world needs scientists in the future to help tackle some of these big changes to our planet.